Yeah, so far so good. Uh, here at Reagan National Airport, we're looking at about a 35 minute line. If you go all the way down to where that American flag is hanging, that right there is the end of the line. That's on the regular line. Over on pre check today, we're looking at about 10, 15 minutes or so. Listen, the best way to get this information real time is on the TSA app. You type in your actual airport you want, it gives you a real time status update. What you can't control for is the weather, of course, but the TSA says we should not see the kind of checkpoint choke points. We saw last spring with lines running one and two hours, if you will. The busiest airports nationwide today expect them to be, no surprise, Atlanta, LAX, O'Hare, DFW, and JFK. We're expecting record passenger volume system wide over the Thanksgiving period 2.3 million people per day, but 2.5 to 2.8 million today and Sunday. These will be the busiest days. And the TSA has opened up a new command center at its headquarters office where they track the status of the 30 busiest airports down to the actual checkpoints so they can tell you how long the lines are at a specific checkpoint at a specific airport. They're looking at what they call hot spots, those problem areas that pop up. They've had one pop up today in Louisville, Kentucky because of a power outage, but that's already, they say, that's already been addressed. Uh, also, working with the airports and the airlines, they project passenger volume, they can respond, they can staff up if necessary. Wait times nationwide averaging about about 20 to 30 minutes on the TSA regular line, under 15, in fact, under 10 on the pre checked lines. They've also got dog teams running, 165 dog teams nationwide. If they can clear a line of passengers with dogs, those people can move that much faster. And so now they're looking at how they can move this, these lines throughout the day. They've staffed up dramatically. They're at 45,000 people nationwide. That's maximum staffing. So they've really recovered from what they had back in the spring with those long lines. The, the advice today, if you're traveling over the next few days, again, don't pack liquids and gels in your carry-ons. Pack them in your, in your actual hard bodies, if you will, in the, in the cases that you check. Also, make sure you remember that you're going to have to take off your shoes, take out your laptops. The more that you're prepared and ready, you can speed things along. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello. Tom, as always, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.